Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects CC 2018 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to do selective masking. And we're going to do, in this one, we're going to do a color change. And what I mean by that is, let's say you've got a project like this and you've got a clock and it's doing its thing and you want to actually change the color on the inside of the clock or the hue or the saturation or anything like that, but you don't want to affect the outside. So you want to selectively um, make an effect to the uh, to that position. So what you want to do is, in this case, I'm just going to do a, a color uh, one. So I'm going to hit, I'm just going to type color into the effects uh, box over there. And if you don't see it, it's under effect controls or effects and presets, pardon me. And then I'm going to go down and I'm just going to look for, which one was it that I wanted? Color balance. And I'm going to drag and drop it on top of uh, the layer here. And nothing happens, but let's just go ahead and do a drastic change just so you can see what happens. So I'm going to make it nice and purple, like really, really, really purple. Now, let's say your client wants the inside of the clock to be purple, but the outside and everything else not to be purple. Well, you know, normally you'd want to create a mask and, and, and try and do it that way. But let me show you how an, an easier way to do it. So first step you want to do is make sure you're selected on your video. Then go up to your pen tool in this situation, and I'm just going to do a very rough monkey mask. This is not going to be like a perfect mask by any stretch of the imagination. I'm going to put that there. How about right there and there and there? And yeah, this is nowhere near uh, exactly correct, but it's okay. I just want to show you how this effect works. And something like that. Boom. Okay, that's standard mask stuff looking good but okay so now we've got the inside of the clock purple but the rest of it is kind of like chopped away and that isn't what we want so what you want to do is you want to go down into your mask and then down a little further under effects color balance compositing options and this is the part that matters you want to hit this plus sign and this is you know this is not what i would say um terribly obvious so you click the left you click the plus sign and then bang you're gonna see that now the mask is referencing the mask so mask one pardon me so we are actually now applying the color correction only on the inside of this mask and it's through this compositing options mask reference I know this is I'm, I'm harping on this but this is an incredibly useful um, technique uh, for for those of you that are that are doing like masking and color correction and all those other cool things and um, that's really all there is to it if this was like going out for like a production and this was like a reel I would of course make the mask a little bit better I would probably feather it a little bit I would expand it a little bit like this is a real monkey mask I'm not gonna lie and I know it is but I mean really that doesn't really matter in this point point. and then when I click off I'm just gonna click outside of that and I go back to let's say time equals zero and bang, you know, I've got a nice purple inside of the clock and I've got the outside not adjusted. That's how you mask like a good champ. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you have anything that you want to see, let me know. I'll glad to make a video about it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.